Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop for this Sunday morning episode, Bob TV, baby. Waiting for it to get a little later so I can fire them turbines up today. A little too early yet, but we'll see. Yeah, I, uh, you guys remember my buddy Bill Wildman Marshall. Well, he showed up yesterday and helped me out. He got the top of this buttoned up while... I was working on the wings, yeah. Yeah, old Bill did that. <laughs> that's, that's what Bill's airplanes look like. But you know what? You can, you can point to a wire in Bill's jet and ask him what that one's for, and he'll take it. <laughs> See, Bill, how come that one's cut? Well, this, that, you know, and... I had to because of this, and then I had to run another one, and then, you know. <laughs> See, Bill, that, what's that one, too? Oh, that was the elevator. I had to put that one there because, you know. <laughs> That's bloody stuff right there. No. No. That isn't what his installs look like. That's just my bundle of... Uh, used wires, most of them, most of them look good, two in there, there's a few good ones in there, don't have many anymore, but we're getting ready to test this fuel system guys, one good one that was in there, we're getting ready to uh, Fill her up with some go juice and check for leaks. And uh, you know my that wire harness didn't show up yesterday. No, it didn't. Don't God, I was waiting for that mailman too. The last night I was thinking, well, shoot, I got some of them plugs. I got some wire. I'll just make one. <laughs> I had one there to go off of, you know. So I just copied it. Two red ones on top of blue, and I didn't have a black, so I used brown instead of black. And uh, I even had uh, some of them uh, circle deals, you know. But uh, <laughs> I had one of these too, of old glow starter. So, uh, yeah, and it works. So, we're good to go. I can fire that up. I'm going to fire them up, baby. Well, that one, uh, after it went through its first start cycle, it burned out its glow plug. So what I did is I had to get into the box, put the hook up the box, and turn down the glow plug voltage a little bit. And, uh, whoa. I had to turn it down. Turn down the bolts a little bit. It was at 28. And I checked the other one and it was at 1.8. So I took it down. Okay, I got two vents on there. This was set up for my Tomcat and this overflow. It's got two on well, this set up for a twin. Let's just hook these bad boys up. Pump some gas in it. Just fill her up. There's holes on the bottom under there where you tighten up the wing. So something starts leaking. And it's going to come right out. Can't fill up the fuselage. Okay, here goes nothing. It's kind of the scariest part for me. <laughs> I just don't want fuel everywhere, you know. Okay. Header tank don't leak. My air trap. That's good to go. That yeah, should be filling up. That bottom tank in there. Yeah. 
can't really see it very well there. We're making some noise. Don't sound good, but it's not leaking. because it was full now now we're going into the bottom one see my other F4 actually carried way too much fuel that thing just carried way too much you know you didn't have to fill them tanks but half full for a six eight minute flight Now these ought to be about right. But just to be on the safe side, we'll keep the maiden flight down to about four minutes. And then come back and check the fuel. So nothing's leaking. The tank's about half full. It's filling up. And the bottom one is filling. Down there. See how small the air bubble is in that UAT? That's why you put them at an angle. Like that. Okay, coming up to the next stopper. No drips. This is when it's hard on them. When you're filling up, there's positive pressure. That's <laughs> you can tell if it's leaking just a little bit. You could smell it. Can't see it. Can't smell it. We're good to go, baby. Okay. Let's just look up the other one. for luck holes. Man, I sure like these fast downloads, guys. You know, once I get this Wi-Fi figured out, there's another feature about this camera. Once I get this Wi-Fi figured out, I can actually load videos and record at the same time. Yeah, it says that in the instructions. Man, I figure that's cool. Okay, bam. Uh 
Oh, okay, I know where it is. Right there on that deal I used. Oh, it's not tight. Put a little Teflon tape on there and seal that thread. Sure, the Teflon tape does not want to impede anything. The other side has a a different one. I only had one of them though. Reducer, and I should have checked it. Okay. Let's try it again. Top one should be filling up. Yep. See that top one right there? Oh, it's getting heavy. Get some fuel in it, baby. You see it? Filling up.
bolts underneath. See, there's screw holes in the bottom of the fuselage where you tighten the wings up. So, any major leak and it'd be on the flow. Corks, stoppers. It's one thing you really got to watch. You shoot past the stoppers, and it ain't leaking. You're good to go. Not one block. See, right now with that fuel pumping that fuel in there, swelling them things up. There's actually a pound or two of pressure inside them so it's going to leak it's going to be on the fueling process not while you're flying not one drop all right other than our one little hitch that i caught immediately We are fueled up. It's going into our header or our overflow. See the bubbles? And that lighter line. There's any bubbles now. It's actually filling up. Bam! Alright. Fuel system's good to go. Alright guys, I'm going to load this video, it's 10 o'clock now, I probably ought to wait just at 11, it's Sunday morning, no one wants to get blasted with a jet, 8 a.m. <laughs> on a Sunday, but we'll, we'll wait a little bit and I'll make you guys another video, we'll see you guys back in the shop.